internet auntie auntie ren here again with another video if this is the first time you are gracing us with your presence hello welcome come in this is a lux channel double x lux i'm auntie ren and we talk luxury luxury fashion luxury apparel luxury handbags especially luxury handbags so if you're new and this is the first time you're here this is a great video to kind of be introduced to some of the things i absolutely love and always talking about on the channel if you are returning hello darlings welcome back for another one this is going to be a good one because um i have not talked about this bag yet on the channel i've showed it a couple of times in different um like you know favorite bags or top tens or what have you but never highlighted the bag and gave it its own video so i'm excited to share this piece with you because this is a forever piece in my collection and yeah i just want to really show this to you all but sound off in the comments if you're returning say hello if you're a fellow youtuber make sure that you pop in let me know what channel you're visiting from so i can go over and visit your channel as well oh, oh. Um, I had to really go and like search for this piece. This was something that um, I probably wanted in my collection as much as I wanted my first Speedy. Like it's that classic to me. Um, I searched high and low for it and it would be, oh gosh, the Louis Vuitton Monstery in the GM size, obsessed with this bag. So quick story time is always a story but with this one i have to of course tell the story so i did um get this um pre-loved in uh my facebook group that i'm a part of i've mentioned my facebook group facebook groups that i'm a part of the luxury facebook groups numerous times i'll pop maybe one or two um channel uh videos that i um mention them and i go in a little bit more depth about it i'll put it in the icards but um yeah so got this from one of my facebook groups um when i got it it was not in the best condition um the seller gave the impression that it wasn't as bad but when i got it um yeah it was not great it did not smell great um the stains were a lot more intense than i thought but i tried to wear it the way it was at first i cleaned it i watched a couple of videos i conditioned the leather you know did all the bits it looked really great love that vintage look that it had but ultimately um it ended up getting a hole in um the bottom in the corner the leather came apart from the seam so i was like you know what i always had intentions of taking it in to louis vuitton anyway so just take it in so i took it to my local louis vuitton here um which is the flagship store on fifth avenue in new york took it in left it there took about six seven weeks to get it back was approximately $800 and I had all of the leather redone on the bag. So that would be the leather lock, the clasp here, this like buckle here, the leather tassel, so this long lanyard, um, the entire leather bottom and the in the back, it would be the leather piece here and as well as the leather attachments for the strap. So everything and the trim. The only piece that was not done and I'll show you inside, there is a there is a pocket here right there so the trim of the slip pocket is in leather that's the only thing that was not the um only piece of leather that was not touched so everything was redone um even if you you can still see like a little bit of here with the um the rings here there's like these ring studs they're stationed around the opening of the bag they're a bit um not tarnished um but they could use a bit of polishing um i haven't polished them in a little bit now i would say in a couple of years actually i have not polished them these are brass if i'm not mistaken this bag dates back to 1996 so i believe it would technically be like a vintage um piece um at this point 
obsessed um i loved the job that they did when it first came i'm not going to lie i was terrified of all of the vaquetta it was super super light but once it started to patina this is exactly what i wanted i wanted this honey brown kind of like worn in softened look um of this bag it's it's just oh my god it's all the things for me so the patina that it's at right now i think is absolutely gorgeous it's this beautiful beautiful honey color i did spray this down with apple guard i will do a video soon um spraying down some of my new pieces with apple guard and you can kind of get a see what it looks like in the beginning like how it looks when i first get it but this i, I would say i had this changed out probably um maybe like 2000 maybe 15 um i had this all changed out so it looks fantastic it has aged super super evenly i mean i'm just obsessed with this piece um i have this beautiful um luggage tag that i was able to get again from my facebook group um there are some really uh, wonderful wonderful um people in that group that do some amazing things and have some amazing contacts and there's one um one person in the group that her um essay does all of these like creative things with luggage tags and uh she was able she had this one selling and i bought it bought it at a premium though honestly like these things are so if you want a luggage tag um, you do have to have, from what they've told me at Louis Vuitton, you have to have a history of a purchase of an item that has a luxury, a luggage tag attached to it um, in order to get the replacement piece or to ask for a replacement piece. It has to be in your purchase history. Um, and then you can get, you can ask for a replacement. Um, so it's like 65 US dollars for this regularly. I did not pay that. I think I paid almost like maybe 175 or something like that for this. But I mean, because it's, you know it's personalized it's done really beautifully with all the hearts and everything and it says lv mom so at one point this was a bag that i was running around with really really heavy with my children doing like different school activities after school activities school trips and so on so it has been used quite a lot i put it up a couple of years ago i want to say maybe like in 19 maybe like yeah about 1920 you know that thing happened and got us all stopped doing everything um and having really been reaching for it as much in the last couple of years but recently started using it again as a work bag when it's not snowing here in new york and i'm obsessed with it only caveat the only thing the only bad thing about this bag well one the the clasp can be a bit fussy to get into this i'm not going to lie the buckle is a bit much when you're when you have to get in and out of things a lot and quickly this is probably not the bag you want to reach for but also the bottom um this is one of those anxiety attack type of bottoms that just drive you mad because you, you have to be so careful where you put it down where you're putting it because there are no feet it's all this vaquetta when they redid this the leather that was on this initially i felt had a little bit more a little bit of texture to it seemed a little bit more porous and then when i got the leather redone the leather was super smooth like it's so like it's like silky smooth um and so i feel like it just picks up all the things if i've got hand cream on if i've got um you know if you put this down on a counter that was recently wiped down or what have you it can leave it can darken it for a while sometimes it goes back you know and it lightens up and there's no problem but a lot of times it does leave a blemish so it's one of those things that you got to be okay with happening with your piece you got to get over it but i'm not gonna lie when i first got this done and that first blemish that i got was was a little painful it was like <laughs> But it happens and you just you have to get over it and know that you can all if it really bothers you that bad perhaps this is not the bag for you or get one that has feet or just know like in a couple of years time you know if you really really need to you can go and get it redone but yeah that's the only thing is that this bottom is crazy so yeah but i'm obsessed with this it's got this really big pocket here to the front and this is like i think the original one if i'm not mistaken of the monstery so the pocket is super cool in the fact that it has a canvas lining there on that side so you can see the actual the um the same louis vuitton monogram canvas there which is really cool 
um but as i mentioned this is a vintage bag this is a forever piece in my collection not going anywhere i have this piece tied the lanyard is tied almost like a men's tie so that way it can slide let me see if i can get this in the shot so i can slide it to close the bag and then open it like that to open it all right so i do have it stuffed right now but i want to show you all of what fits inside so i do have it stuffed with some bubble bubble wrap it is such a spacious bag it's reminiscent the, the style of it is reminiscent to a bucket bag so that's basically what it looks like it looks like a bucket bag when it's completely extended and open it's reminiscent of the noe right so it's just one big piece there one big bag it's all soft so all of this is soft whereas in the palm spring this piece here feels like cushiony and then the back pocket that's inside the inner pocket in the back takes up the entire back piece here so this whole back piece right here is the pocket um that's inside there's this textile lining it's just cloth like a canvas so not coated or treated or anything just like a material and that's what's also inside the bag as well the bad thing about getting all of the leather changed on this piece is that i lost the date code so the date code on this used to be here on this pull on the the buckle here um, and it was on the back. That's usually where you could find the date code because all of the leather was redone on this. There was no way for them to restamp it with um, the proper date code. So I lost the date code on it, but I was fine with that. Some people may not be like if you have intentions of reselling it, I'm fine with it because I know it's authentic. I have the um, the service, you know, it's in my profile with Louis Vuitton. So I'm not concerned with it not having a date code, but some people might be or that might be a deal breaker for them but i do remember that this bag was um i think it was the ninth week of 1996 um was the date code which i think is super dope and uh yeah and i'm okay with it not having a date code that doesn't bother me so one of the, so i have some bits here and i want to show you quickly what fits inside so you can have an idea of why this bag is so good such a great bag for me and my lifestyle using it as a work bag you can use it as a baby bag you can use this you know if you're a student this is another great bag i believe i was watching hey june hey oh i love june oh she's so like she's like vintage youtube anyway june had um a motsori gm backpack that she like stuffed to death and she was using the mess out of it as a um as a school bag when she was in medical school um and she like stuffed it with you know textbooks and so on we're not going to get that deep but i just want to show you how i use this as my current work bag so the first thing that i'm going to need whilst i'm working remotely that's like a must have for me will be my laptop so this is a macbook air it's 16 inch super light super small and it fits right in there usually i would have my sleeve um I can put the sleeve on it but i didn't feel like doing it right now but if it's right in right in the back really really smooth it goes right in no problems it's not bulging or anything like that so a 16 inch macbook can fit in here no problem this is my louis vuitton desk agenda um i would add this this is my my, my financial uh, agenda i would add this goes in no problem this is my um youtube planner so this is where i plan my videos i kind of map out my week what i'm going to be doing as far as like if i'm going to do any partnerships with anybody any contact information uh, my timetable on when i'm going to be filming videos and so on and i do all that mapped out here in this book that goes in no problem this houses so this is my louis vuitton cosmetic pouch in the small size this has my um lotion like hand lotion hand sanitizer lip products you know anything like my daytime toiletry bag if you will so anything i would need to like freshen up or like maybe a small perfume you know whatever anything that i need a hair tie or whatever anything would be in here this is my pencil case this has all of my i've been getting into planning like trying trying to get into planning so all of my different markers and all of my different pens and so on would be in here this is my coach a uh, pencil case so i have an actual a hair tie because sometimes when i'm out and about and if my you know hair is bothering me and it's in my way i just want to get you know get it out of the way uh satin hair tie 
my six ring key holder, which is Louis Vuitton Damier graphite six ring key holder. I won't put this in the main compartment. So I won't put this in the big main compartment. I will put this in the front because I need easy access. I need to be able to reach that really, really quickly. Um, I also have my car, my key pouch, uh, which has my car keys. I'll put that to the front as well. I have a phone so I have multiple phones but this one would be maybe like one one of the phones that I would carry like for work or something so I would have this in that front pocket as well just so I can get to it quick a spare mask because that's just how we're rolling nowadays so we need a spare mask I'll put this in the back pocket again so it's easier to get so it doesn't get lost inside the bag and then I have my airpod uh pros so these i like to be able to get right away so what i'll do is i'll close the bag with the little pull string and i will probably clip this on the outside and this is the bag filled with everything and then you go close it so with the clasp so what i've noticed with this clasp is that if you need to be able to get in and out and you need like easy access quick, um, this is probably not the bag for you. Or what you can do is since it's already secure with that drawstring here, you can just leave it like this, which I've done that sometimes too. You leave it kind of open or, you know, I don't lock it all the way. I'll just have it like, I'll just have it like that. So it's like, it's not all the way locked. Um, if you need to be able to get in and out of this, but this is usually a bag that I'm utilizing if I'm going from one place to another So I'm going from you know, like I'm not going to be like out digging in this I'm literally taking this from home to an office space or from home to one site where I'll have it And I'm sitting in one area and I can get in and out of this with no problem This is not a bag that whilst I'm out and I'm, I'm trying to dig in there if I need something right away I usually put it right to the front here so I can just get whatever I need keys whatever and that goes right here in that in that front pocket um but other than that I usually leave this closed it's just the easiest way to really utilize this this is not the bag that you want to get in there it's not a bum bag where you can have it on your chest and get in and out of it and it's just you know fine but this is it completely full it holds quite a bit without bulging and I probably could still fit a couple of things in here, especially like on the sides. I can still fit some other things because the bag is like mushy um, canvas. There's so much more room even here, like to the front. There's room to stick like um, my sunglass case, you know, or maybe, um, you know, a water bottle or something like that could still, still very easily fit inside here with no problems. Um, and because this is such a mushy bag, it's relatively light. So it's only going to get as heavy as the things that you put in it. By itself, it's not a super heavy piece. I will stand up so you can get some mod shots of what this looks like when I'm carrying it and on my body frame. Remember, I am plus size, so I am I'm a size 18, 20, um, and I'm about 200 pounds. So you know, big girl. So it may not look the same on me as it would on someone else, but I feel like if this is a good size for my body frame. I would not. They had it in smaller sizes. They do not sell this this one anymore they've redone or reintroduced the monstery so it looks completely different now and i'll pop a picture on the screen of what it was um i want to say for this one original price i paid probably like 500 for it and then with the um to get all the leather redone which was like 800 so so you're looking at what like 1300 dollars all in for it to look like this but um this was like back in 2015 so and i'm still super super happy with the way it looks would not be looking to do any types of adjustments to it right now but yeah this is it so this is my monstery gm from louis vuitton vintage is it all right if i call it vintage my vintage monstery gm from louis vuitton i'm obsessed it's such a good piece it's a forever piece in my collection i will be the granny walking you know 
um around you know i don't know the bingo hall with my monster gm <laughs> backpack <laughs> that would be me and i have no shame no qualms about it i'm obsessed i think it's a great piece it's a forever piece it can always find a place in my wardrobe or with something that i'm doing i think it's well made i would get the leather changed out again if i feel like it gets too worn out um i would get it done all over again but yeah, the white the white stage of the Viketta takes some getting used to, but after you get over that, then it's a great, a great piece. So that's it for me, nieces, nephews, fellow aunties. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when Auntie Ren is in here dropping these gems, dropping these vintage Louis Vuitton pieces. Uh, listen, you might want to look more in the pre-love market for Louis Vuitton nowadays, especially for the canvas, because from what I'm hearing, there's another price increase on the way. So don't we love those? So anyway, I will talk to you a lot in the next video. Hope you all, this should go up on Thursday. So I hope you all had a great week and you have a great weekend coming up. I will talk to you soon.